Hello everybody and welcome back to Morphine Folio. We are jumping in again. Let's randomize our character and see who we might get. I'm kind of feeling like a golem run or something though, so... Oh, did you know what? No. Tainted Job is a lot of fun. We'll play as him. We'll do a uh, golem in the next episode, I think. I did uninstall the path randomizer. It was interesting, but it also kind of messed with things quite a lot. Whoa. Why have I not got a rotten heart as this guy right now? Normally this guy starts with a rotten heart as well as half a soul heart. I currently... Excuse me? Excuse me, game. Are you sure about this? This character is going to be really heckin' rough if he starts with like one hit away from death. I reckon we're gonna have a lot of early deaths as him. Also, look at these butt fellas. I like these enemies, these are cool. Ah, there you go, there you go. We got some health. Um, Little Portal, I will be not taking. It's a little annoying that Little Portal has spawned here. Oh wait, oh, wait, I see, I see. I would most certainly take Firemind. I'm not gonna keep it, but I will take it. Do you know what? No, I will take Little Portal because it's now on a double tap, which makes it a little better. And this this character, for those of you that don't know what he does, basically, uh, we can use Deus Cassodia to save an item. All items are doubled, like Damocles. Um, and if we don't save an item, it has a chance of being removed on the next floor, so... I'm fine to, to take Little Portal because I've got it on double tap to fire now. Um, and yeah, I might I might end up uh, not even um, keeping it for very long, so it's not all that bad. Also, that was quite the haul. I'm hoping we can get enough to go through our shop here. Also, Firemind. Firemind's pretty decent. A lot of people trash on it. I realize it's not the safest of items, but I, I think it's quite fun. I think it's quite fun. I think the fire ability of it itself is really useful. And then the explosions, they can be slightly annoying and I'm sure I'll come to regret um, saying it's good. But for the most part, you rarely get hit by the explosions unless you're playing it a bit too close to the enemies. Uh, but at least we've got a good start going here. I actually can't believe that death to start with. I actually can't believe it. Um, For the question of the day today, a bit more for an open-ended... Whoa, okay, okay. Um, this is a tricky one because magic skin is potentially really, really good. I think what we do with this is we, um, we find our secret room. This won't kill us, will it? Hello. So, yeah, I don't think this will kill us. Okay. We got two items that aren't particularly insane, but... Let's, uh, let's quickly, before we do anything with those, let's go back. We're going to grab the bag of crafting. Um, and I think that's going to be our item we take. Because that should spawn two items, I think. Um, if I'm correct with that. So they're, them, they're two items that are not insane, but they're decent. Um, we got Diplopia. Um, what the hell's this thing? Fiddle Cube. Grants an increasing amount of damage and tears when, um, when used rhythmically. Uh, Alright, but we won't take that. Diplopia is kind of an interesting one. Let's see what we get from our boss first. We might want to Diplopia, whatever it is. Let's go fight our boss. And we'll leave Magic Skin there. Yeah, Magic Skin's going to be left by the wayside now. Okay, these guys are going to hit me, um, as you've already seen. Okay, let's not die. Thank God I bought a soul heart. Dude, these enemies are insane. Let's try and take out one at a time here. Okay, there's one gone. Dude, these enemies are insane. Do not lose this run. Okay, that dude that dude dying on the fire there is very nice. Okay. Let's go grab Diplopia and Diplopia those two, because why not? Because why not? And then I think we're gonna play the machine. Right, so we grab Diplopia. I mean, I could use it on these two. I'm going to try it on these two. Because two of these little dudes could be pretty good. I don't want to Deus Custodia any of these. They're just more items to, for, for the fodder to get taken off me. I realize that the more items I collect, the more items can get taken off of me. 
No troll bomb, lovely. Then yeah, let's go back this way. And I think we'll spend the rest of our money here. Hoping for a soul heart. We didn't... Oh, we did get one. Nice. Okay. Um, and I guess I'm going to take number magnet. Number magnet can be pretty good. Let me go back and get our bag of crafting. Nice. Okay. We have two little ghost boys with us as well. What's this key? I'm just going to do that. Okay. We are good to go. Let's do this one extra room as well, because why not? I'm glad I did. So now I've got more fodder for my bag. Yeah, if this spawns two items, the bag of crafting is going to be pretty good. Um, one thing we might want to do um, is just put that down and dare custody of the bag. Just to make sure we keep it. Because I kind of almost forgot about that. Anyways, I think we're going to go down. Uh, we'll see if little ghosty ends up paying out. There is two of them, so there's hopefully a higher chance of that. There you go. We got... Um, we did lose two of our ghosty boys there. Um, we got Luminary Flare, which I really like, um, and Jar of Air. Jar of Air is good because I'm pretty sure when it gets taken off of us, we still keep the flies. Luminary Flare, I'm, I'm, uh, I want a Deus Custodia. I want to keep that. Um, ooh, that's really good. We'll definitely take that. This is a decent start. This is a decent start. This character with Fiend Folio, definitely a little bit of a scary prospect. But definitely quite fun as well. Um, I'm pretty happy with it. Item room here. What have we got? Did... I did forget. I did forget that, that Magic Skin is going to show up more often now. Um, after using it. Probably not the smartest decision actually now thinking about it. Because that's going to be a real annoyance for us throughout the course of this run I'm sure. Um, probably going to lose out on quite a lot of items. But... There you go. Uh, I don't even know if I did question of the day today. I don't think I did. Um, I did mean to, but either way, question of the day today. What do you think is going to be the next sort of big step for human existence? What, what's going to be the next sort of invention or thing that becomes more common practice in everyone's lives that isn't yet or isn't quite there? Because... Um, like, obviously, there's, there's the whole sort of argument of, like, AR and VR and stuff like that. I, don't, I really don't know about that. I don't know if people are going to get down with AR so much. I mean, I might be wrong, obviously, but I don't know. I feel like AR's, like, hyped up a little bit. Okay, so Pyro is a must key. So we're going to go take Luminary Flare now. Um, unless we can get batteries, I guess. But Pyro is a must keep. Um, that's going to keep us safe. I'm going go to just, just, just go take Luminary Flare now. Yeah, um, that saves us a lot of hassle. Yes, I love the flare. So good. What a great item. Just sits here with its little face. It's going to do some stuff. But yeah, the fact that um, we can craft a low quality item and it spawn a high quality item is pretty awesome. But yeah, we definitely want to keep Pyro. I'm hoping we get enough charges this floor, actually. Yeah, we will. Just just about. You do your thing, Flair. You do your thing. We could go in there and get a thingy uh, reverse item. But I, I don't know what it would be. Um, I guess I'll check. Why not? I don't know which one of these items it would be. Little portal gets Little Abyss. Grants an abyss familiar that bounces around the room diagonally, dealing contact damage, pulls players and enemies' projectiles into itself. After absorbing enough, it fires a large barrage of tears at enemies, can consume trinkets. For every two trinkets consumes, pays out with an abyss locus. That sounds really good. I will take that. Also, mega pill. Holy shit. Uh, we also got the D7 in here, which obviously isn't of any use to us. Um, interesting. We got book, and we do actually have... Okay, that's, that's pretty cool. We got half soul heart there. Don't kill him. Damn it, I wanted to kill him with a bag. You get a badge if you kill him with a bag. I wanted to do that. Um, 
I'm, I'm going to take an angel deal. I'm going to take an angel deal, I think. Let's uh, bag up all of this crap. Right. I'm glad that little portal has a different version. There's Custodia that. So we keep Pyro forever. I just think Pyro, it has the chance to save our life. We get a lot of red health. Obviously, we'd need a lot of bombs or explosives or whatever too. By the way, if you're wondering what I'm doing right now, I'm just making my way over here because this guy, as I was say, can consume trinkets if he would like to actually try and consume this one. He's having a... Ha Dude, come on now. There you go. And if he consumes two trinkets, he gives us an Abyss Locust. So I think that trying to make that work whenever possible is a good idea. Right, let's keep stepping. Keep stepping. So far, a pretty interesting run, definitely. Got some wacky stuff going on. I hope we keep Luminary Flare for a little bit, but you know, it's either going to take our new little portal dude or it's going to take Luminary Flare. You just know it. You just know it to be true. Even though I've got two of the golden fucking thingy, um, golden rope or whatever it's called, I guarantee it takes Luminary Flare or something. Oh, it didn't. It took both of my golden ropes. Awesome. My favorite little imp boys. Luckily, we have these flies, which we can get them from behind walls. That's re I, guess I really like the new little portal. Little Abyss is so much better. Got these lemony fellas here doing their thing. Got to remember it, it sucks up our projectiles too, because that is going to be a little bit of a problem here and there. Wait, can we open? We can. And we get Encyclopedia and Nord Leaf. I don't know what the Encyclopedia does. Hmm. We don't know what the Encyclopedia does at all. Okay. Well, I'm not. I'm not leaving Bag of Crafting. It's too good. Ah, oh, bloody that! That enemy's so difficult. Thank you. Let's keep her going. But yeah, I'm basically going to be sucking up every single consumable I can into my bag of crafting. Pretty much at all times. I feel like almost always it's going to be more worthwhile. I would like to get some keys though. Is that a tinted rock? It is. I will take the soul heart here. Like, this is a really good opportunity here. Take that one. And we'll... Pop this as well, why not? Didn't work, damn it. Okay, please give us a key game. I'd like a key. We're only at three broken hearts so far, though, which is pretty good going, I think. There's the key we want. Good, good. I just, I, I just love the risk-reward with this character. So fun. And your build kind of changes over time as well. So Rotten Tomato is decent. And then we got Teller Bombs. Plus five bombs. Um, a target follows behind you at a delay. When placed, the player teleports back to the marker. And the bomb instantly explodes. So. That's not great for us, because <laughs> it's it's harder for us to bomb ourselves. We got some free healing there. Why the hell not? Oh, hello, you. Okay, good, good. But yeah, it's always interesting to think of, like, what's going to be the next big thing. Because it's it's basically, like, it, it's very impossible to be right unless you, like, really look into it and kind of know what's up next. It's, it's, it's so difficult to be right. <laughs> but it's always a really interesting thing to think about. 
Um, trinkets on the floor are consumed and tend to all stats up. I mean, I know that gets rid of our ability to get the wisps, but I still, I'll still take that. It's still pretty interesting. I like the way the little abyss grows as well. This, this bomb thing is really distracting me, I've got to be honest. This little bomb symbol behind me. Distracting the hell out of me. I don't like it. I don't like it. Look at that dude. Look at him go. It's awesome. Oh, at the minute, I'm in a state of just really craving caffeine. And I can't have it. I think I've, I've said on the channel multiple times now that I've been sort of staying off caffeine for the past few months just because it's been a lot better for my for my mental health and health in general. But, like, I just want it so bad. <laughs> it's so bad because I know how bad it is for me and I know it'll it'll mess me up. But I'm still, like, I still really want it. I'm really not a fan of this bomb item. It's messing me up. Oh, thank you for the healing. Thank you for the free healing, sir. Oh my god, he sat right on top of Luminary Flare there. We get our range up here. And we also get the um, objects thing, which is pretty good. So here we'll get a top hat. What the hell's the top hat? Hello. Blank letter tile. You choose A. And glass D6. Glass D6 is definitely the one we want to take. Right, let's go. Couldn't actually see what the other ones did because the crafting recipe thing. It really annoys me that the bag of crafting takes precedent. We lost that bag. We lost Jesus Juice. We lost our cart. Clears all enemies and pickups in the room. They all respawn next room. Oh, that's an interesting one. I don't know where the where the use case for wanting to use that would be, but I suppose if you've got like an ace of card and you've got like the ability to hold two cards, it could be pretty interesting. You could move more enemies into a single room and then get more utility out of it. I guess that's like a pretty decent use case for it, but that's kind of specific because you need to have the ability to hold two cards to do that, so not the most ideal. You watch it not take this bomb item off me for the entire run. Now that I've learned, I dislike it. Definitely take the key for now. I want to see our item room. Remember, we have a glass D6 as well, so we can do some re-rolling if we need. We also have a card in this room. Oh, that's just the, the, the house thing. We'll, we'll suck that up for now, because we're not going to use it. Um. Okay, my, my buddy took care of that. Can I suck up these keys? We cannot. It does not work like that. For some reason, I thought the ghost would just follow me into the next room, but that would be a bit weird. Hey, Flare. Flare doesn't go off very often, but when it does, it hits. It gets the job done. Again, we're getting we're getting not great stuff here for my bag of crafting, but then, then again, the bag of crafting is just added extras. I'm not going to fret too much if we're not getting too much amazing stuff from it, because the, the fact that we're getting stuff from it at all is a pretty good deal for us, really. Oh, dude, those enemies. Those enemies break my brain, I swear. I'm going to keep taking keys because we've been low on keys all run. Apart from that one. I've already got three. <laughs> I said it and immediately changed my mind. Um. Oh, oh, shit. Did not see that enemy that was literally right up against my body. Oh my lord, I'm getting hit so much right now. I need some health really badly. It's just another chest inside the chest. Damn, that's pretty good. I guess I'll take you as well, just so I have more fodder to get thrown away. Right, definitely need more health. Health is looking real bad. But do remember that we're, uh, we've are we got the ability to use Pyro, so if things get really sticky, we can just keep bombing ourselves. I realize we don't have a ton of bombs right now, so that's not super useful, but it is useful-ish. It's there. 
It is a way out. Okay, that, that bat scares me. Luckily, that bat is dead. We also haven't got any actual statistical increases apart from fire rate so far. Oh, hello there. This is a rather interesting room. Various cards about. Um, I want to buy this one and see what it does. Implosion. Throw three fireballs that summon hollow minions on impact. Hollow minions disappear on room clear. Okay, that wasn't very useful. But I will suck it up and create an item out of you. Ugh. Shard of glass is not something we want. Don't want to use my glass D6 just yet. I'm kind of holding out. For a situation like this, where there's two items I don't really want, and then, okay... I think we should, we should definitely dare to custody of this bad boy. Because I think that item's really good. Could supplement us quite nicely. And then, yeah, let's go back for our boss. Yeah, basically I wanted a situation where I was re-rolling at least two items. Considering those situations are fairly common as this character. I really didn't want to waste the opportunity on a single item like the box or anything like that that we've got lying around. Okay. We've almost got spun as well, actually. Ooh, this is a, a boss that I don't think I've seen in a regular room before. He summons other bats. He slams. What else do you do? I know you dash, don't you? Because I've had you as a minion. It's like a summon. Oh, damn. Luminary Flare just wrecked your day, son. Um, This is back. Which, to me, says that I need to walk in here and use it. Okay, away we go. We got all of Angel items there. Get ready for it to take them all off of us. I don't know what order it takes things in. I think it is just completely random. So we lose a syringe, key beggar, that item. Oh, we lost our book. That was one of the items I was happy to get as well. We got a trinket there that I'm not going to get to see. Tears up if you're about to take fatal damage 10 into China. I really wanted to take that, actually, but it's gone now. <laughs> oh, well. Ow. You managed to hit me. Good on you, I guess, sir. Okay. Yeah, I kind of wanted that trinket that turns you into China. That would have been fun. Uh, do not like this room in any way, shape, or form, but I'm just going to take the hit. Health is still looking real bad. Ooh, what are these dudes? He dropped his skull. I'm not sure what that means. Um, we should bomb this, just kind of say, because we can reach over and grab whatever it drops. Wasn't a lot, but more items the better, I guess. I love these guys. These guys are so cool. I'm not sure if these are a new enemy from Fiendfolio or a rework from that other mod. Getting a lot of actives. A lot of actives through um, Bag of Crafting, which I kind of think is really dumb. Like, I'm sorry, but I can't use any of these. Magic Skin is back again. That's two actives there. Magic skin was definitely a terrible idea. But then again, the bag of crafting is supplementing us with more items than we would be getting otherwise. So, I can't be too mad. I can't be too mad about it. Just so annoying that we're getting so many active items that are just ruining things. Have we got a soul heart there to get some stats? Whoa, what do these gravestones do? They spew out stones. Okay. I didn't know if they actually did damage or if they're just there to block shots. With Fiendfolia, it's sometimes hard to tell. You don't want to take that risk. Ooh, this guy, like, dropped out an imp. These guys seem to have a, a few different effects they can do, because that didn't happen last time. Oh, my lord. That was pretty cool. This guy, I think you've got to hit until, yeah, until he pops up. 
I love these burn projectiles that a few of these enemies have on this floor. Really cool. Th these guys have it as well. Damn it, we're not getting many. We need more luck because we're getting really bad room drops. I don't know when we lost so much luck. Or maybe this character just starts with really low luck. Potentially. Room drops are just not coming our way. And that's our main way of getting stuff to use with our bag of crafting. This guy, he resummoned that skull. There goes the burns. Get up here, you. Is the room not over? Oh, no, it's not. It just didn't make the room clear sound. Ow. Come on, game. Give me some more consumables. Some more pickups, please. Look at this. The room drops are just terrible. We're getting none. Nothing. One sec. Let's keep her going. Oh, I dropped a bomb there by accident. Did not mean to. Okay, this guy's got a bit of a rework too to him, but I think he'll be dead pretty soon. We don't, don't gotta worry about that too much. Yeah, he died pretty quick. We got this here, and what the hell's this? I really, like, bag of crafting. Go away. I don't want to see what you're on about. Two soul hearts, gull pile trinkets, and spawn a pill. Pretty good. Pretty good. And what are you taking from me this time? Oh, that's a bad one to take. But otherwise, not so bad. And we get fucking magic skin back again. We got PhD. PhD's decent. Something wrong on this floor is perfect. I need to make sure whenever I get hit, I pick up the coins. I, I, I don't know. I still think a death is in the cards for us here. Our damage is still pretty pathetic. Like, <laughs> we've got a lot of stuff. We've got so many items, but magic skin is just eating everything that we earn and love. And also, our health is shocking right now. It really is bad. Like, how we are only at three red hearts. Okay, item room here, nice. Don't be magic skin. Okay, neither of these were, but they're also two really bad items. Brittle Burns is kind of interesting. I think we'll take Brittle Burns. It's, it's a very big risk. Actually, it's not that much of a risk. And then I'll take Lodestone as well. I think it should be fine. We just need to get some red hearts. We can also bomb ourselves, but we don't have any bombs left right now. But back this way again. Is this an XL floor? No, it's not. Yeah, Brittle Burns with a fire rate. Obviously, we might lose the fire rate still, but it still heals us. Um, I think we want to go in here. Yes, indeedy we do. And then we want to... Right. $3 bills, really good. Grab that as well. Then another two of those, I think. Spoon Bender is a Deus Custodia sort of item. Let's take it. Right, let's go. Oh, we got Soul Heart as well there. That was kind of good. That was kind of good, actually. We came out of that room smelling like roses. Surprisingly so. And yeah, now, I, th I think our locked in items still aren't amazing. That's, that that's sort of a problem we're having. We don't have anything locked in that's crazy good. But... This room we got going on is decent now with these items we just picked up, especially with Spoonbender. Three dollar bill is a big, big get as well. Just keep popping that on you. If I can, that is. It's a little hard to get it to actually proc. 
pop your little eye bits out. There you go. Oh, we can hit two at once from this angle. That's really good. We'll take that. Um, and then I guess we'll just take the negative. Why not? I guess we'll check our devil deal here. Nothing I want there. Right, let's go. Okay, let's see what we get stolen off of us here. We get Nord Leaf. Um, okay, really not too bad at all there. Really not too bad at all. I think we can live with that. Spoonbender here has been amazing. Give us some luck upgrades, game. Do not like that guy being invincible in the middle of this room. That scares me. Probably should have taken that bomb, to be honest. I do need the ability to heal myself at some point. I'm hoping I just get an item that allows me to blow stuff up so I can just, like, bomb myself. Eventually. Wait, what the fuck? What sort of range do we have right now? 21 range. Why do we have 21 range? Okay, no, it disappeared. It was one of the $3 bill effects. I was very confused for a minute. Picking up a soul heart has a 15% chance of granting a holy mantle. 30% chance when picking up eternal hearts. That's pretty good. I don't think we can actually grab that, though. That's pretty interesting. I love those laser beam eyes. They're such a good addition to the wound. Just think the heart of floor should have some heart of traps. I love these enemies. They're so cool. They remind me of the um, the nest enemies in Borderlands. Okay, I think we just got conjoined. We did. With homing conjoined is really good. Obviously, we can lose Conjoin at any time, really, but for now, I'm pretty happy with it. Just keep going. Ignore all of that crap and keep going. Oh my god, these enemies that fall from the sky scare me every time. We got Fraudulent Fungus. That's like a... That's kind of interesting. It's like a busted magic mush. One rotten heart. Okay, let's take it. Why not? Yeah, it's like a busted up magic mush. Eh, only one chest, it ain't worth it. And of course, more magic skin. Who else but magic skin? God damn it, I keep forgetting to pick up the bombs. Everything else I'm fine with sucking into our bag. Bag of crafting really is a perfect item for a character like this, isn't it? Maybe wondering why I sucked up that uh, soul heart, but look at our broken hearts. We don't have any more room for soul hearts, so it's pretty useless to keep it. Yeah, this run especially with um, Conjoined has really popped off now. It has popped off heavily. Probably should have kept that, but it's done now. A metal plate and the finger. Good stuff. Ooh, this boss. I like this boss. He's firing all bombs at me and stuff. Take out his segments. I think he's about dead. Yeah, he's dead. There you go. We got him. Bit of a tricky one, this guy, but when you got this much damage going out. There is an angel deal behind his fat head that we can maybe get to. We can. Nice. Bowl of Tears. Unfortunately, that's an active item, so it being uh, reflected is pointless. Anyways, let's keep her going. I'm not going to take GMO corn, because taking seven pills could mess things up. <laughs> I think a lot of the time it's worth it, but sometimes it just isn't. We finally lost our little portal buddy and salvation. And three dollar bill. Three dollar bill is a big loss. I mean, we still got great damage. The three dollar bill was giving us a lot of extra damage. Magic skin again. The brown horn causes all enemies to defecate violently, pushes them away from uh, from you and spawning friendly dips. Kind of interesting. Converts all rock poops into pennies. Pennies spawned by this disappear after some time. Uh, we can maybe make use of that. I did manage to get Cricket's head out of it. 
I suppose what I could do is I could grab this, play it a bunch, then grab this, and spawn stuff with it. Got a frog, fraudulent fungus again, thank you. The leech here. That kind of worked out. Not a, the best usage, but there you go. Yeah, I, th I, th I think we're, we get we keep getting the portable um, thingy because uh, portable slot because it's if you put all coins in the recipe you get portable slot and I keep accidentally doing that. Do I sell off sulfuric acid? I think I do. Ow. Oh. So, I, I really like this item here. Hey, we got Sissy! We get the spider babby transformation. Goddamn, we are getting a lot and a lot more consumables on these floors. Considerably more. <laughs> Go, Luminary Flare. That's an item that I'm surprised we still have, actually. Luminary Flare has stuck around for quite some time. Normally, I thought it'd be out of here instantly if it's an item I liked. But no, okay, let's take some bombs, actually, now. I actually remember to. I want to get myself up to, like, ten bombs. Because we only heal half a heart from each bomb, so we need quite a lot to, like, bring ourselves back from the brink if uh, things go sideways. Lots of red hearts about, which is good for later on, but not for right now. Good for when shit hits the fan. Nice bird cage and extra vision. That's a bomb. Okay. Mum's heart, you really shouldn't be too difficult. I don't know when we got up to 12 damage, but I'm happy we're at it. Okay, we're going down. Should have just taken that red heart. Oh well. Okay, down we go. Yeah, I really like the siren's call that like spawns familiars when you get hit and also just gives you one off the bat. It's a really good addition to it. We lost one of our funguses. We lost both of our funguses. We lost panic power. Okay, we, we, we lost basically nothing there. We lost a little bit of stats and that's it. Black Lotus is not very good. Doesn't do much for us at all. I should really check inside here, shouldn't I? Black Heart doesn't do much for us. I'll take it into my bag. I'm playing cards. Joker could be interesting. Let's try it out. Joker. Nope. <laughs> I'll just take that into there. It could have been interesting, but instead it gave us that. Don't need keys anymore. Well, not really. We might need a few here and there, but... Ooh, look at this champion, dude. Hello, champion fella. More magic skin. Who could have guessed? I wonder how many magic skins we've had this run. I bet it's over 20. Sadly, we've uh, very much gone the wrong way here. Let's head on back. Yeah, normally with this character, I like to do what I've done here and get myself up to six broken hearts. I have six really solid items to keep. Uh, that's a really cool enemy, by the way. Then the rest, I don't... I, I, I try to just not bother. Like, if, even if I get great items, I'm like, well, if, as long as we've got a good baseline, even if we lose that item, it's not going to ruin the run, so I'm just going to stick with what I have and not take on too many bro more broken hearts. Because obviously, the more broken hearts we take on, the run's just going to get way more difficult. That was cool. Did not know there was a rock underneath you, Luminary Flare. Could have told me. Damn it, should have taken that bomb. Okay, we got this guy. No longer can he be cheesed with a bomb. Also, this this fight is just particularly a lot harder now. But being able to freeze him off the bat and kill him with a bunch of spiders, it's a good way to go. Look, 
It's another one. We still don't, we still have, don't have spun either. We've had like four syringes and never got spun because we never had them all at the same time. Not terrible. Not terrible. Okay, that really wasn't too bad at all. Nothing there that we want. Okay, just a bunch of spiders dropping in. Got some ghosties about as well. Burn heart there. Oh, I missed it. <laughs> I walked into the, this room by accident when I was trying to get it. Let me go back and grab it real quick. There you go. Yeah, I don't think the quality of the items really matters too much when we've got the uh, duplicating effects with whatever we put into the crafting bag. Secret room was found pretty quick here. We take the look upgrade, definitely. But otherwise, we can suck all this up. We got another magic skin. Wow. Got B-Boy here. I don't think we're going to have too much trouble with uh, with the lamb. We've managed to reach a point now where this run's pretty slapping. I kind of like these runs, though, where you've, you've basically, the early parts of the game, you've really got a bit of a struggle bus going on. Um, but then later on, you kind of come into your own, and the power of the run really starts to unfold. I like that a lot. Pretty sure this is the way to the lamb. What the hell's in this room? Oh, it's a Skolex. No thank you, Skolex. I don't think we're going to kill you in one go, but... No, no, we did, we did. You got slippity slapped. That's good to know. Lots of bombs about. Tear Detonator is actually probably a, the way to go right now for the boss. That, 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 that seems like it could do a lot of damage. Oh, hello, mini boss. How are you? Yep. <laughs> Tear that net's pretty good. Likes the game like crazy. That's when you know it's good. Oh, we didn't go to our secret room back there. I should probably go to the secret room. Doesn't do much for us, does it? I mean, kind of nice. Suppose you get some soul hearts out of it. There you go, got a soul heart. Come on, lamb. Where are you? What's freezing everything? Do we have, we have, oh, we have a freezer baby in here. I was what, I was curious what was freezing everything, but just see that little fella. Freezer baby is honestly so strong. Okay, but here, here's the boss. Will that kill you? It almost did, but you have a little bit of iframes, so it didn't quite. But it did kill your body, though. There you go. You're dead. Well, that went pretty damn well. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. What a fun run. Definitely a good one to play as Tainted Job again. And yeah, hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.